Gary, played by Mikey North, thought all his prayers had been answered when Underworld boss Scarlett Connor, Alison King, gave the builder the contract to repair the factory roof, following Peter Barlow's, Chris Gascoigne, boat blaze causing substantial damage to the premises on Coronation Street. However, after initial inspection, Gary told the factory boss the repair work was greater than first imagined as former supervillain Pat Pelham, Connor McIntyre, had done a botched job of the roof a few years ago. Struggling with finances herself, Carla told Gary to make the repairs necessary to keep the factory in production and he would be given the contract to complete the job when she had sorted her cash flow issue. Though tragedy struck on the ITV soap last night, as the roof came falling down on the workers protesting inside and although it seems like an accident, the devastation was caused by the cobble's new supervillain. Upcoming scenes will see one of Weatherfield's most beloved characters succumb to the villainous work of the culprit behind the collapse as they lose their life and as the dust settles, the blame game begins. Next week, Gary will struggle to keep his cool as he comes to realize he may come under fire and possibly face a manslaughter charge if the police learn he knew the roof was actually more damaged than originally thought. Gary isn't the only one trying to cover their tracks however as factory bosses Carla and Nick Tilsley, Ben Price, also tried to brush their responsibility under the carpet as health and safety inspector and Roy Croppers, David Nielsen, former foster son Wayne Hayes, Gary Damer, arrives on the scene. As well as Carla coming under heavy fire for the disaster, Gary is also called in for questioning by the police and although the builder tells his girlfriend Sarah Platt, Tina O'Brien, he is going to play the innocent card, the factory worker offers him an ultimatum. Sarah tells her boyfriend if he decides not to tell the authorities he knew the roof was unsafe. Their relationship is over, as the tragedy cost the life of one of their neighbors. However, is there another reason Gary wants to remain quiet? If he is the new supervillain on the cobbles, he could have caused the collapse to show Carla the extent of the repairs needed as well as trying to get more work to bump up his finances. Later in the week, Gary's luck will begin to change as he is offered a new contract to work on a housing build for newcomers Jen and Anton, but the builder comes under fire once more from former employee. Seb Franklin, Harry Vise in 09. The youngster seats when he learns Gary has secured some work on the project he had previously been offered and with his anger prevalent, Seb becomes prime suspect when the contractor discovers a new threat. Returning home after celebrating his good news, Gary discovers his van has been broken into, with the culprit stealing his tools. Sarah is adamant the young builder is behind the vandalism and tells her boyfriend they should call the police on him. However, Gary plays it cool and decides they shouldn't call the police, leaving Sarah confused what her boyfriend's sudden change of tact over Seb could be as the two men have been feuding for some time. Could Gary be trying to pin the blame of the factory collapse on the young builder as the culprit behind the tragedy was seen tampering with the roof with a crowbar? Will Gary be uncovered as the supervillain as he tries to evade suspicion by framing Seb for the factory collapse? Seb could blow his cover as the young builder makes it evidently clear he believes his former boss and his crew were responsible for the tragedy. Will Seb live to regret his accusations, as the rumor mill spins on who was responsible for the tragedy? The speculation is rife amongst viewers about who could be the victim of the disaster, with stalwart Sally Webster, Sally Dynver, currently in the hot seat as she was seen falling through the roof of the factory last night. 
However, an appearance by Coronation Street star Sally Dynver, 55, on Loose Women yesterday may have accidentally revealed the character's fate. The actress was speaking on a live feed from the Manchester-based set, with fellow star Connie Hyde, 49, who plays Gina Seddon, in the London studio, though the latter told the panel, you can read nothing into this. Does this expose a shock twist which will see Gina as the unfortunate victim if she ventures into the carnage to save her sister? Coronation Street continues Wednesday at 7.30pm on ITV.